ZBrush was in the news just recently because they teased new retopology workflows coming later this year. You're gonna be able to create individual faces, place vertex points, expand geometry with edge loops, and more. They're also adding a new UV editor that will allow you to manage UVs directly within ZBrush for desktop. Now, this is gonna be pretty awesome to have retopo tools, especially when it comes to ZBrush for iPad, that hopefully maybe removes the need to use other apps like Cozy Blanket, but it'll be interesting to see how ZBrush's update compares to Cozy Blanket, considering they've kind of been cornering the market on Retopo on the iPad for years and years now. Keeping with the whole sculpting theme, Nomad Sculpt for desktop just officially launched. Nomad used to be only for mobile tablets. It's kind of like a more pared down version of ZBrush that I'd say is a little bit more easier for newcomers to get into. It's kind of like working backwards from ZBrush's approach where ZBrush had to move from desktop to iPad. Nomad's kind of doing the opposite, moving from iPad to desktop. And it's basically a one-to-one -one app, so you can easily move projects between iPad and the desktop. If you want to grab it, it's not going to decimate your wallet. Get it? That, that's, a, that's a sculpting joke. It's a one-time purchase of $35 for a perpetual license. And you can grab Mac and PC versions right now.